Good afternoon. I'm going to show you how to fill your Avalon triple bean with product. First, we're going to start with the bean hopper up top, and then we're going to move to the French vanilla and the hot chocolate soluble containers. First, what you're going to do is unlock your bean hopper right in the center in the front. Unlock the hopper. Once you unlock your hopper, raise it up. The three corresponding coffees on the front of the machine obviously are the hoppers. One, two, and three. One, two, and three on the selection. We're just pouring the beans in the hopper slowly. as to not create a mess. For the decaf, you must lift the middle drawer here. There's a separator in between all the three coffee selections. That's simply it for that. Next, take your round key to open the door. Remove the lid. And then you have your hot chocolate canister and your French vanilla canister. The way to access the French vanilla canister by lifting this switch here and pushing the door out. When depositing hot chocolate into your machine, please make sure you cover the hole to the whipper chamber so the product doesn't go directly into the chamber. So you're going to cover the hole with your thumb just so the product doesn't all drop down into the whipper chamber. So remove the top and slowly add the hot chocolate. And that's the once the hot chocolate is added and the hopper is somewhat full, you do not have to cover the hole all the time. Repeat the same process for the French vanilla. Next, I'm going to show you how to change the paper. Again, open the door with your round key. Remove the paper guard. Locate the brewer switch on the board. Identify it here. Flip the switch to the on position as to raise the brew head. Once it's in the raised position, you can cut the paper with your finger simply. Lift the wheels, the tape advance wheels. Drop the paper into the garbage. Remove the paper, your old paper roll. Insert a new paper roll. Make sure you put it underneath the roller on the side of the brew head. Once again, underneath the wheels. Lift the tape advance wheels. Pull the paper down straight. When you've completed the process, go back, lower the switch, brewer switch to the off position, lowering the brew head to its original position. Once that is complete, make sure the paper is going down into the trash and re reapply your paper guard and you're all set. Now we're going to empty the trash. So again, as like replacing the paper, I'm going to go open the door here. Remove the paper guard. To advance the paper filter again, we're going to go over to the brewer switch, activate it on, and lift the brew head. So by doing this, you're 
moving the weight of the coffee that has already been used down into the trash. So now you can just put your thumb in it and drop it down into the trash, leaving paper still underneath the brew head, still on the roll. So after this process is completed, flip the brewer switch back to off, putting the brew head back to the original position to make coffee. And you can add your paper guard. Once you're done with this section, move underneath to the wastebasket. Simply open the door, remove the basket from underneath the chute, remove the trash, new bag, back in the machine, underneath the chute again. Now this drip tray is not a drain, but it is connected to a five gallon water bucket just in case there is an issue and you have a slight overflow it won't go all over your floors. This just sits in the back here behind the waste basket. 